Hi guys, it's Moz here for Moz 651 Models. And on the workbench today, it finally arrived. Thank you, Dale. I've received the Airfix catalog for 2022. And it's full of quick builds, vintage classics, all the new releases, and a sprinkling of Humbro right at the very end. So, let's have a look. So if you've not been on this channel before, I do occasionally get out catalogues from all over and just and film them page by page. And I keep saying to people that if you want to see this in the best quality possible, go to the cog settings, click quality and select 1080p. And so it gives it high resolution. If you think I'm turning the pages a little bit too quickly, you can slow the video down by also going to the cog settings, clicking the uh, playback speed and selecting either 0.5 or 0.2 but also you can just pause the video at any time so you can see what's on each page um, and I love these catalogs I really do I think they are real purpose to them and uh, and straight after the video um, straight after sorry the filming of the catalog I'll then go into some of the highlights of the catalog so wait to the very end so there you go let's have a look then this is the airfix catalog for 2022 enjoy
then, what did you think? It's a really, it's a big catalog. It's 146 pages, 147 pages of sheer catalog full of kits, basically. Um, I'm just going to quickly nip over to the Vintage Classics first because I just want to say that, believe it or not, there's nearly, I think there's about 60 kits you can buy. And I think Airfix are very brave to do this. And also, I think it's a great idea. People say, oh, it's money for old rope, you know, blah, blah, blah. But do you know what? At least Airfix are fucking honest about the fact that they are reboxes, okay? They're not like other manufacturers that are still reboxing their tools over, they're over 60 years old. Airfix have said, these are old tools, right? They still have a purpose. You can still get a bloody good finish on them and they rebox them with brand new decals, right? Or decals. Uh, somebody beeping the horn outside. But anyway, I can't bother editing that out. But yeah, they are being honest and they're saying, look, this is what you're going to get, all right? And, and if you do buy an old kit because you fancy building it, you're guaranteed to have almost decent instructions because they do tinker with the instructions slightly. But more importantly, you're not going to get those crappy decals or decals that are like yellowed or... Um, uh, silvered, you know what I mean? You're going to get quality, okay? So give them a break. Yeah, I understand pricing can be a bit, but then again, I've seen people flog a 40 year old sealed Airfix kit for £150 on eBay. So that's a bit high. So, yeah, so the reintroduction they've got, um, they've got the Fiat G50, as you know, they've got the uh, the boomerang, the whirlwind coming back, they've got the, the Beagle Bassett. Um, the Shooting Star and the Beaver. Um, I think that's the more. I've just got this one as well. This was one that was released last year, but we only got it, you know, 2021. So we got that in the end, which is good. Um, I've done a video on that one as well. The um, Aki Vow, whatever it is. I think that's it. And also, like here, you've got your Heracles and your Trident. These all came out last year, which is good. You've got the original Concord and the bring re releasing the Harry Owen 1 to 24 scale. Was that right? 124 is a reintroduction. So, yeah, you've got your tanks as well. You know, there's plenty here. I know they're in 1 to 76 scale, 172, depending. But, yeah, you're going to get them. They've got the Chahi Japanese tank coming. So, you know, there's plenty here. And, you know, they, they range from about 8 quid up. I think there's one that's like 6.99. And, you know, the decals are worth that alone. If you try to buy aftermarket decals, you could spend a fiver on trying to sort it out. So, yeah, give give Airfix a bit of credit when it comes to the vintage classics. You know, that beach buggy, what a resound that was. That was fantastic. And even the figure was of today's standards. Jaguar, you know, that's all come out. And then the reintroduction of the figures as well. So that's, I just wanted to get my head, the thing about the vintage classics. Don't, don't just diss them, okay? Don't diss them. Straight off, as you went through, you've got your brand new two um, quick builds, which are the Jeeps. I like doing the quick builds. They're a fun thing to do, especially with your nephews, you know, you know, um, or, or your kids even, if you've got kids. You know, I've got nephews. You know, I've got full range here. Yeah, the Mustang, I've got it here. I will build that soon, okay? So we've got them moving through. They're, they could do do some better tanks. I think if quick build, do some, do, do some d d different tanks. Maybe do a Sherman. They've done a, they've done a Sherman, have they? They've only got two tanks in the range. But yeah, why not do a quick build Sherman next time, please? Right, going through. Starter sets, best thing they ever did. You know, deciding that they're going to have starter sets where they're going to remanufacture, rebuild, redo, redo everything. Start with fresh tooling designed for the starter. Not like the old ways where they get an old kit add a few paints, add a brush, add some glue, and then say it's a starter set. It, it doesn't work because it really does. It demoralizes people when they try and build a car that's got so much flash on it. it, it it's not a starter set. These are prime. So now what they do, they do brand new starter sets, and then like the old system where they would get an old tool in, add some paints and some brushes and some glue, they call them gift sets. That's the difference now. And they're going to be doing cars this time for starter sets. They've got new modes for the Bugatti Chiron, the uh, Huraya, 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 Pagani. So, you know, put in the comments below how you say that for me, please, okay? Uh, whoops, sorry, hit the camera there. Whoops, there you go. Um, and then this one here, which they did tell us a few, few weeks back, the Jaguar E-Type Jag. 
brilliant. Reintroduction of the Mary Rose, because that is a pretty good starter set, okay? If you want to build a quick boat, that's a good one too. Obviously, you've still got this um, Supermarine Spitfire Mark C as a starter set and the Red Arrows Hawk. All really, really good. And um, and they've got the Sherman Firefly and the Tiger One also as starter sets, which basically the tracks are all made up for you. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Then you've got your gift sets, which is more like, you know, you, you, the Concord, which comes with the paints and the bristles. Don't forget the dogfight doubles. They've been around for years, dogfight doubles. And so, you know, they've just got a range of gift sets now. Tomahawk, Messer Smith. But again, you know, will we see these in Audi for £5.99? Let me know in the comments below. So, yeah, quite a few there. They've got some of the old... Um, uh, like the Mini, the Jaguar, They're, they've been they've been gift sets, or should we say starter sets, but they've renamed them as gift sets. And there you go, there's the Supermarine Spitfire Mark 5C and Mesha Smith BF109E dogfight doubles in the Memorial Flight, you know. It, it box standard, what you get with, uh, um, with the FX. Now, I did open that one up as well. I've got a copy of that, the Supermarine Spitfire and Red Owl's Hawk as a best of both worlds. All right, so... Moving on, they got more gift sets, more of the ships there, and then moving to military aircraft now. Or, you know, this is all old hat, you know, we've, we've had them for ages. So I, I, I wrecked my catalogue a little bit when I tried to film it, because I tried to split it open as much as I can. Reintroduction of the Spitfire Mark F Mark, sorry, Spitfire F Mark 22, that's a reintroduction with new schemes, okay, so new decals. Hopefully we'll get this soon, which, whoops, we move that up there to there, which is the Tempest. That is due out anytime soon, I believe, because they were already promising us that last year, um, available winter 2021, 2020, so maybe January time it will come. I did hear on the grapevine that they're looking at January, but uh, that's what the lady said on the phone to me when I asked about it. Um, the MiG-17, that was released a couple of years ago, really nice one. The Blen um, Bristol Blenheim Mark Mark 4F, that's a reintroduction. So reintroducing that one. And there's the new mode of the Gloucester Meteor F8. That's going to look like a good kit to me. You know, you can, when you get these catalogs, you can see there's some really, you can look up close, look at the CAD images or the, the design there. They look good. They do look good. 3D modelling, I should say. Um, moving on through reintroduction of the uh, Sea Harrier and uh the fairy swordfish mark one did a video on that one if you want to go over and check it out okay um reintroduction over the dawny um d017z that's in and the sky train that's a reintroduction as well so new schemes for that one i believe so yeah oh well, there's loads of reintroductions there harrier gr7a and the english electric lightning with new schemes as well which is good so actually, the Skytrain doesn't come with new schemes, just a reintroduction. But yeah, I do like the Lightning. I'm, you know, as I say, I, I'm getting to it slowly. Yeah, I am getting to my Lightning. I just haven't had the chance to actually get up here and spend some proper time on it. So yeah, quite a bit in the old catalogue. This is a first as well. They're having all... So they're reintroducing the Victor. And for the first time ever, they're going to have all three models in the range at the same time. So you've got the Vulcan, the Victor and the Valiant. And as Jonathan Mock said on the uh, Interested Modeling Company channel, that would be great if they did this as a as a as a gift set, as a, as a you know, an all in one set or three in one box. Probably cost you about 200 quid, which would probably crimp a few chairs from the scale modelers, you know, especially as they're trying to all they house in their in their wallets are, are moths. So, um, yeah, there you go. So you've got the Valiant, the Victor and the Vulcan. All of the uh, V-Bombers will be arranged at the same time on FX. Good call, good call. And that's really where we're up to, really. You know, it was a, the, the Chipmunk came out this year, which was good. The Tiger Moth, um, Mesha Smith, that's been out for a while. That's the Mark 5B. And also, they've you know, the display stands are there as well. Right, just moving through again. Reintroduction of the Supermarine Spitfire Mark 12 and the F Mark 18 as well. Reintroduction of that one. By, by the way, so in that one here, the, the Mark 14, um, I've got that to build for someone. Somebody wants me to build that in civilian schemes for them. So I will. 
Um, oh, shut up. Um, North American F-86F Sabre, which is basically the Canada Air Sabre. Basically got new parts for it. So if you want to build a North American version of the Sabre, that's the one to, to get. Really, then we've got new mode here of the Avril Anson Mark 1. And they're saying it's going to be available basically 2022, 2023. So it went, so it won't be here till like I'll probably be November of next year, of this year, maybe January of next year. Okay. But it does look nice. Nice, nice cockpit there. Lots of detail. And uh, yeah, it's a new mode. Definitely on its way. It comes with three schemes as well. Blackburn Buccaneer, people did uh, look at this and think, ooh, 70 quid, 70 quid. But, you know, look at it. It's got the, the split tail there at the back, you know, for the, is it the, they call it the air braking or thing? Comes with a um, missile set, you know, three uh, four different schemes, you know, but it's due in the summer, so we should see it hopefully August time. And uh, yeah, it's uh, the Blackburn Buccaneer S2RM. I'm going to look forward to seeing that and doing unboxing. Um, and then they're reintroducing the Navy Lynx with new schemes with, uh, I believe, if I'm right, it was English, German and Dutch. Dutch markings. Don't quote me, I think that's Dutch. Anyways, the Javelin, the same, you know, going through. And then the uh, the big, the super kit, they now call them. Which is the 1 to 24 Supermarine Spitfire Mark Line C. Plenty of videos on this. I've done a video on it myself at Duxford. So you see all the pictures. If you want to look at that video there, you can. You know, it's uh, 488 pieces. It's going to be available in autumn of this year. So you look at September time. Hopefully it will come. Um, it comes with the four ranges. And, you know, we're looking at that version at the bottom. It's, uh, it, you know, that scheme. Is it French scheme? Looks fantastic. Right, and then new mode here. They've got the Brumbar, which is uh, a tank. Apparently, these are Academy um, tooling, which are going to be reboxed as Airfix. We're still waiting on the ambulance. There's the Stug 4 and the Panzer 3. These are, you can see the, sort of the CAD images there. These are all due soon. Available spring 22, so we should get this March time. Um, and these will be, oh, this one's the summer, this one's the autumn. What they say for this was summer as well. But these are Academy tooling, but with air fixes, decals in. Okay, there you are. Not much else on the military front there. I think we're almost done, really. Apart, I've done the Vision Classics. I've just had my little 10 pence worth of that. Charity ones, you've got the board games in here. Uh, technical Index, this is, uh, where was I looking to? Um... Oh, it doesn't come up with the uh, the roundels for... Oh, Danish. Sorry, Danish. It's the Danish air scheme, not Dutch. Danish. Okay, there you go. Then it tells you all about your flying hours and stuff, technical details. License acknowledgements, obviously, you need licensing. They move on to the Humble range. There's nothing different this year. Nothing I can see that's been added to the range. You've got your enamels. Sorry. Let's have a look here quick. So you've got your Humbro enamels and then you've got your dropper bottles which seem to be okay um normally they come up with uh with the acrylics as well where's the acrylics to got your weathering powders nothing different there they come with packs where you've got an aging powder pack and you've got a weathering powder pack which should be good you've got your paint and brush sets which are a brilliant idea i like that idea then you've got your polys, your clear fix, um, which is um, which is good for your um, your canopies or your glass parts, etc. Moving through Masco Deco Fix, you all know this stuff anyway. They come in two different sizes, the thinners. All right, Got gloss coat, satin coat, and matte coat, which is a solvent-based varnish. Goes clear, dries clear, and. Um, and it's, uh, it doesn't give that yellow wind effect. It's good stuff, good stuff. Another range of brushes there. The workstation, the color chart, which you can get. Really good color conversion chart. Um, A3 cutting mat and A4 cutting mat. I don't remember A3, I remember the A4 one. Was there an A3? There must have been an A3 one, yeah. 
the starter set looks like they've changed the design of the um, sprue cutters. Have I still got my old ones here? Just looking now. No, unfortunately, I don't have the sprue cutters that came with them. I did also a video on those sprue cutters. No, I, I think I can't find. There's the the tool set that I got. <laughs> Obviously, I've. Uh, um, it wasn't them, was it? No, it wasn't them. Um, I must have given them away. I can't see them here. But yeah, um, yeah, the the sprue cutters were quite crap. But, um, but there's a video on the sprue cutters up here. I'll put a link up there. The airbrush and propellant. I've got, I have do have a version of this, um, but I have a Rebel version. I think. There you go. There's the can for it. I will. I will do one one day, trying this out. But I've never seen anybody use it. Enamel acrylic varnish is really good to go over you and um, acrylic paints good. There's your trees for Hornby, which is, you know, they put them in there because people like building dioramas, obviously. Um, I've never bought any of this stuff, by the way, um, all this uh, Hornby scale scenic stuff. Um, but it's all done by Humbroom. But anyway, and there you go. There's your product chart range, and there's the back of it, and there you go. That is the catalogue all done, and that's it. So, if you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, ring that bell, and be notified of every new video I put out there by selecting all. And to subscribe to this channel is completely free. Memberships are open if you want to become a member of the channel where I do giveaways and uh, you'll get previews of the videos I put out there um, before anybody else does. You know, feel free to, to become members of the channel. No force, no issue. If you don't, you don't. But if you can help this and help and support the channel, please become a member. Any questions, any comments, put them in the box below because I do reply and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.